Hello, guys. I am Shane Davis, 20 year comic book veteran, who, in a beautiful, lovely, sometimes she has been known to make this man a sandwich wife of mine, light of my life, Yonzi Lynn. Hi. And today's day, we're going to talk to you about SJWs as these horrible people have established a new criteria for working in comics. Let's get into it. So I'm checking my DMs and Yanzi sent me this and uh, I went to click on it. I went to click on this Twitter and uh, right away it's like, you are not allowed to see this person's tweet. And I was like, ah, drum roll, please let me roll over into incognito. And uh, which is a thing that SJWs do. This is the biggest virtue signal there is, is to say, I have to be protected from the cis white males of the world, the people that work in comics. Before we get into this, please look down below. Please help the channel out. Share the video. Hit like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think below. Now, Obviously, I am a cis white male, so I may feel like that racism and sexism has been used against me as a comic book creator, that I am being shunned out of the industry because of the color of my skin, because uh, my sexual preferences are being used against me to gatekeep me from a comic job. This job in comics, I am not allowed to see or apply for. Now, I, I arguably will say this is, uh, I feel like, uh, you know, this is, this is racism. This is sexism. I'm like, oh, this hurts. I think I'm going to have to go crowdfund because the industry. <laughs> Yanzi, let us know what's going on here. Coffee Book Yeti, this guy over here says, hey, all, announcement time. Enter the Comics Cave, that's a podcast, is only looking for guest creators from marginalized groups. Women, individuals with disabilities, by POC, LGBTQIA+, and others. No cishet white men need apply. So straight away, you know, if you fit this checkbox, cishet white male, aka straight white male, not welcome. We at Comic Book Yeti try to give priority to creators from marginalized groups generally, but that can be difficult with all the cishet white dudes in the industry. And to be honest, this was our intention for the podcast from the get-go. We just didn't want to make it a thing. Well, obviously now they made it a thing. However, we at Comic Book Yeti and Comics Heartthrob. Wait, they want to call themselves Heartthrobs now. Okay, right, fine. Gr at Grand and Stuff are getting overloaded requests to guess on ITCC from Cishet White Men. And we want to save everyone a little time. Oh, gatekeeping. Please feel free yeah, to reach know, out to us. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is basically it. So this, for what you guys need to know, is that Into the Comics Cave is a podcast run by Comic Book Yeti. And they like to platform creators, I guess. But now they want to make it very clear what kind of creators are welcomed on their platform. They're trying to save people because when you're sexist and you're racist against a certain demographic, you really want to extend them the courtesy of not wasting their time. I mean, let's I mean that's how virtuous they are. They, you know, that like don't don't even waste your time is of value. No, it's not. You, you, this is obviously the craziest idea. I personally don't understand this. I know it's a virtue signal. I get that. But it's also the most racist thing and sexist thing that you can do is just write up and say, hey, this, uh, we're not hiring, you know, now, now go fill in the beat with any, any color of the skin, any sexual prep, you know, preference, whatever, just fill in the blank. It somehow isn't racist if it's against white people or straight people or especially white straight males. And it's it's crazy. I mean, like, let me tell you, life is hard as a white straight male. Probably just about as hard as uh, it is, especially now, because everybody hates white straight male men. Yeah. It, it's the thing. It's hard. They can look at you. They can look at you and say, oh, white men. Okay, you know what? All the worst problems are your fault. I mean, in my household, being a mm. white straight male, it's pretty hard. I'm starving. I'm out here begging, hitting the streets, begging for a sandwich. That's how hard it is. Now, you earn it. <laughs> but I mean, like, this is humorous. And th th I guess the idea is it's okay to be racist against this person. It's okay to uh, gatekeep comics from these people. This person also uh, has a website, right? And he kind of talks about comics and reviews comics. Now, does that mean if you have, if you're a white straight creator on a book, now that means you could be the writer, you could be the artist, hell, you could be the 
editor, you can be the letterer, you can be the colorist. If one of those jobs is filled by a white straight male, do you think this person gives a honest review? Probably not. If you're gonna go in with a bias and say, "Oh, you hit this checkboxes, you're not welcome in this space." What if the character, say like Frank Castle, happens the Punisher happens to be a white straight male who obviously you know lost his family? I mean, is it possible that book will get reviewed by them fairly? Maybe if it's tearing the character down. I don't know. Th these are the type of things like, it doesn't just go for creators. This goes against characters too. Like it's like, oh, this book is so brave and bold if it's tearing down the white straight character. It, it, this is what's kind of destroying the American comic book industry, you know, page by page, book by book. It's happening. Creators, I, I don't know. Eventually this will trigger, I guess, maybe a lawsuit of some sort against somebody. I, I don't know. They're going to argue and say, oh, this is our website. We can get keep anyone we want. But let's have a look and see if they really preach what they are saying over here. So they want us to reach out to them if we happen to not be cishet white males. So let's have a look at this guy here, Jimmy Gaspero. Dead to two amazing kids. I'm going to, and based on this picture here, I'm going to guess um, probably cis, probably white. Mm -hmm. uh, here's our Grant and stuff guy. He, him, dude. So again, going to guess it's a male. Looking at the profile picture, probably a straight white male. And he's like, no thanks, CG. Yes, please, BLM. So you know you are definitely on the right side of history when you post this kind of stuff in your profile. That's pretty amazing. But let's look at the people who are now submitting themselves up for the interview by this um, group of people who are obviously gatekeeping cishet white men, to be specific. So these people here are obviously pretty racist and pretty sexist. Let's see who is applying. I'm a neurodivergent woman belonging to the alphabet mafia who writes and draws comics. Okay, neurodivergent is this, you know, trendy new phrase here. Instead of saying, I have autism or I have ADHD or I have dyslexia, you just say, I'm neurodivergent because it sounds it's, very impressive. That sounds like an interdimensional being. Are you sure? It's apparently it's a new thing now. You say you're neurodivergent instead of saying, well, I have this uh, disability, mental handicap. It sounds better, I guess. So look at that. Oh, excellent. Because, you know, excellent because you're neurodivergent and you are LGBTQIA+. So, you know, we'll decide when to interview you. And yeah, I will. I check a few of those boxes. They're being very upfront about it now. They check the boxes, so they want to be on it. So people are going to be like, Shane, why are you talking about this? What's the point of this video? And, and this all really sums up really simple, and we've talked about it before. But in the end, it's a comic book. It's uh, entertainment. Okay, what's on the creator is not the product. I don't understand this. The color of a person's skin, what you eat for dinner is as relevant as, as the color of your skin as uh you know what your sex life is your pronouns these things the product the a comic book is paper and staples and it all comes from blank paper what is on the paper determines should i take the money in my pocket and buy that product now the creator's skin colored or sexual preference these things i would have to literally take your name plug it into my social media to see and look at your pronouns on Twitter or something like that or, or come across a photo of you to determine if I'm buying because of that. And here's the, the, the sad part of it. If somebody is buying a comic book based off the color of your skin, based off of your sexual identity or your pronouns, they're not buying it for the comic book at all. OK, they're just throwing money at you as a person. And that is not what comic books are. Comic books, I have tons of them on my shelf. I did not buy any of them based off the person's color of their skin. I didn't. I bought them because they were entertaining pieces of paper stapled together. And, and I pick the entertaining pieces of paper from the unentertaining ones. And I buy those. I buy the entertaining one. The person behind it, if they're an entertaining person, meaning they're a great artist, they're a great writer, that the cream rises to the top. That term means something. Meritocracy in product, that's a thing. Um, virtue signaling to a small demographic of people on Twitter that love the hashtags, it's a race to the bottom of the barrel. These people they are killing the American comic book industry. This, this type of idea is why 
the American comic book industry is losing its launch every day, all day to manga because they don't they don't do this. One thing I do want to point out though is that when you start saying that you interview only creators that hit all these checkboxes, the moment you start saying anything that you do not like about those creators, you realize they can basically claim, oh yeah, it's the phobe, right? So this is the game they're playing, isn't it? You criticize someone who is not a cishet white male, therefore you're an it's the phobe. Right. You built a product hypothetically that you can't criticize. And if you do criticize the book, and, and, and honestly, it can be a fair criticism. The book very well could be horrible. Even the paper it's on could smell like trash. And if you criticize it like, hey, this book literally smelled like garbage, like it's printed on toilet paper, they're going to run up to it like you're an ist or a phobe. It's because I happen to have only hired people that were not white and cis white male, like they're not straight white men. So you're at, you know, whatever. You must be an ist and a foe for criticizing it. And it, it's almost laughable, this situation even existing. It, it's like the fact that this can even happen, you know, it's funny. I'm not laughing. Is it though. funny? It's, I think it's pretty tragic. But you know what would be funny? If I actually apply it to them and say, hey, you know what? I'm definitely a woman. I'm definitely a woman of color. So why not? Oh, I should yeah. say I'm neurodivergent too, because that's very trendy. Well, they didn't block you, but they did block me. Uh, so, well, you know, uh, you I'm know. a cis white male blockchain. So, tragic. You know, tragic. But uh, what's not tragic is Inglorious Rex is rolling up on $250, $1,201. Still getting backers daily on this. Thank you guys for all the support. I do believe this could be a $252,000 campaign. Actually, I think... I think by the time we put a counter on this and we close this book down, it might go to 260. And that is why I am adding additional pages to Inglorious Rex, just in case that is a stretch goal, $260,000. Everybody is getting extra pages in the book. And I oh, do boy. think that's awesome. More inking for me. Yeah, more inking for you. Uh, but you, look, I, I can do whatever I want. I'm a straight white male, right? So anyways, hey. guys... <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave you guys with the trailer for Inglorious Rex. Please leave me a comment below on your thoughts on this. Uh, I don't know. Racism. Comment, this new, what would you call this? A new standard in, in making comics. And, uh, you know, share out the campaign. Uh, hit like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. And I will catch you guys again with another video. Yeah. 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 Uh, pardon me in my tone You can't step to my throne They ain't working like me I did this on my own You ask him where we been I don't know where to begin All this dirt on my skin I just came here to win I'm more than a man, I'm a monster Somebody come past the doctor Got a six cents for a pasta So now I'm coming for the whole roster It's not a game, why you playing with me? You could double back, lose track, try and hang with me It must be in my veins Something you can't tame Cause I break the chains